have here? What do we have here? Before I unbox this, uh, I am Marcus Barton, swim runner, and I am going to do an unboxing of the brand spanking new Arc Orna X, their newest line of swim run suit, uh, newest suit in their swim run line. So let's, without further ado, take a look here. Oh, born in Sweden, born in Sweden. The Ark, Orna X, born in Sweden. Archipelago, archipelago proven, or archipelago proven, however you want to pronounce it. We have the Arc Mono X. Ooh, pull it out. Let's pull it out. Okay. This is not a toy. Let's get rid of that. Box over there. Let's see which way does it go. Here we go. Maximus Butimus. Right, and we have the sleeves. Put those over there. And we have the Arc Orna X. Oops, get the zipper. There we go. Alright, so the Arc Orna X. Unboxing, um, first impressions. So let's take a peek. What we have is a premium Yamamoto number 40 uh, um, neoprene uh, for the upper body. For the lower body, we have what they consider, what Art considers the running plus bottom. Um, this suit, unlike a triathlon suit, is made for running and made for swimming and made for swim running. Um, like all of the swim run suits that they have, it is a swim run specific suit, if you guys haven't figured that out by now. Okay, so running plus bottom. Let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Running plus bottom. The running plus bottom is a thinner uh, dual walled uh, neoprene, so it uh, it's, does give you some warmth. Um, this is uh, thicker on the bottom than their running plus plus, which we'll talk about in another video. Um, we have the uh, buoyancy belt. Um, and the buoyancy belt is a small portion right across the middle of the suit, which has more buoyancy than, say, the rest of the upper. Um, this particular construction is a foam construction as opposed to just a regular air cell construction like most neoprene. So this is going to give you more buoyancy with uh, less weight. Um, so it's a, it's a lighter suit. Um, this suit comes in at, uh, I think, 510 grams, um, which is not their lightest suit, uh, but it, it is uh, one of the, the lighter suits out there. And uh, we also have this neoprene upper. This part, the belt's thicker than this piece up here, as you can see. Um, there is a little bit of a, a new design to the sleeve. The sleeves are very, very thin, so it makes it to where they uh, will sit nice on the, on the arms. The seam is up high as opposed to down at the bottom. It's not a fold over seam at the, at the bottom of the sleeve, which means you're not gonna get any kind of bunching up. So that's kind of cool. Um, then we've got a heavy duty zipper. Oh, I got caught there. Very heavy duty zipper, so you're not going to get that um, broken uh, if you're like uh, constantly up and down with it, like you might be cabin down in some warmer races. Um, it's got a nice soft liner to it uh, so that it's designed to be worn and ran in and worn for a long period of time, as opposed to some of your triathlon suits out there, which could cause a lot of chafing. Um, the, the collar is a very, very thin collar. And it's designed to keep that water out, um, but yet still be comfortable without a lot of chafing around the neck, um, which is common in some of the earlier swim run suits. I've got a permanent scar from that. And then on the back, on the back you can see the running plus bottom, um, and then the Yamamoto uh, number 40 neoprene on top. And then we have a dual chamber pocket. So it's not just one pocket across. There's a seam that comes right down the middle 
and we have uh, two chambers to keep your, your stuff in or for your partner to keep their stuff in. Holes along the bottom for drainage um, so that you don't carry up that water. Plus that, that flap not only keeps stuff in the pocket, but keeps that water flowing over it instead of into the pocket and creating a big balloon. Um, like with all of the other ARC suits, with the exception of their VIG suit, it does come with uh, sleeves. So if you want to wear sleeves from additional warmth, uh, these do feel like they're a little bit thicker than some of the other sleeves that come with other suits, but we'll talk about that in the comparison video as well. But you do have that super glide coating on the sleeves as well as the upper, uh, both front and back of the suit. And there you have it. Aim forward, Arc Orna X. Phenomenal suit. Can't wait to race in this in some colder weather races. This suit is touted as their warmest suit because it has the best thermal properties as far as keeping you warm in the colder water races. So if you're looking for something for very cold waters, this suit would do you very well. But even though it is their warmest suit, it's not something that's very, very heavy like what you would expect in a cold, cold water suit. The type of neoprene that was used, the foam construction, keeps it lightweight. Uh, still had the running plus bottom, uh, unlike some other manufacturers out there with their swim run suits. So what you're going to find is that it's going to be run well, it's going to swim well, and it's going to keep you warm. Can't wait to use this suit in one of the races. Cannot wait. There you have it. The Arc Orna X.